Okay, now um, during this after finally getting around to seeing Dakota Johnson on Saturday Night Live, and of course Alabama Shakes to admit yet again from the past job, Brittany. Oh wow. Hope oh, let's, let's hope that you know the hope that maybe at next year's Grammys you you and the you and the rest of the Shakers have the best selling blues album or best win the Grammy for best blues album or album, who knows, and I mean, you can only imagine that after getting the best new artist Grammy nomination and doing a phenomenal job with that, with the, at that year's ceremony honoring Kuwait by the band, I can only hope you're on the bigger and better things, almost kind of like how Zach Brown band, or, I'm sorry, I shouldn't say Zach Brown band, how, you know, um, Lady Antebellum, they were nominated for best new artist lost but uh but their second album which featured that song need you now was enough to just put them into the stratosphere and have so many people connect auto automatically through a song that was on the radio in august went to number one in november and this is before the album even had a title official title and when it was when it dropped in january of the next year anyway um um, anyway, I wanted to, oh, I also want to try and maybe make another big, kind of bold Oscar prediction, or, let's see, yeah, I'm going to say that Annette Benning somehow finally gets an Oscar for her husband's untitled project about Howard, about the many loves of Howard Hughes, I don't know what he's going to call it, maybe he can, I might as well just call it the many loves of Howard Hughes. I mean, there's Melvin and Howard, and there's the Aviator. That's pretty much it. Um, also, um, oh, excuse me. Um, yeah, let me just go back to um, Saturday Night Live, who I think should be host, who I think the host of music guy should be. Uh, of course, next week it's Chris Hemsworth, Thor. He's going to definitely show a humorous side, or probably, I don't know, maybe make fun of Thor. I was kind of, ex I'm not ex surprised that there were some Fifty Shades of Grey jokes or sketches. I was kind of expecting maybe Dakota Johnson would act uncomfortably next, standing next to a phony relative that was eroticized by the movie. But, you know, they everything was, every, I'm quite satisfied with everything that was seen, but, um, let's see, I don't know what, I mean, okay, I don't know exactly what they have in store for Chris Hemsworth, but to be fair, we got to see what that is going to be in the news for the next week, um, and to be fair, as I speak, I m unfortunately missed the opening, the cold open skit, I will catch up to it, um, on Hulu once it's available, um, but, um, <laughs> um, let me think, um, I, yeah, I do know pretty much that Zach Brown Band is going to sing that song, Homegrown, because they have it, they, they're supposed to have a new album coming out, but there's no release date or title yet. I say Homegrown, you know, look for Lady Antebellum, you know, but, um, here's what I would, who I would like to see host Saturday Night Live in the weeks to come. I know their season finale is in May, and I don't know how many episodes are left, so I'm going to say probably about six more at the least. Um, let's see. I'd say for March, after Chris Hemsworth and Zach Brown Brand, I'd say why not um, Shailene Woodley and Kelly Clarkson. Then in April, how about Stephen Colbert? And, uh, I don't know who the musical guest could be. And I'm gonna try to think of who's been, I don't know, maybe Imagine Dragons again. And then also, any, oh, what we, I think would be very special. How about, uh, let Fred Armisen host and the musical guest is Slater Kinney. Um, 
can only imagine how much fun they're going to have with Portlandia. Also, uh, and uh, I'm pretty sure, I have this very good feeling that in May, um, I don't know, maybe Terrence Howard from Empire, and then, or Taraji P. Henson, I don't know, Viola Davis is alright. Um, see them flex their comedy muscles. Um, but, um, I have this very good funny feeling in May that Paul Rudd is going to host again because he's the Ant Man movie opening in July. Uh, but I do definitely want to see, I guess it might be more timely that she that she's a musical guest in May as opposed to March or April because I know her album drops June 2nd. The album titled How Big, How Blue, How Beautiful. Florence and the Machine. I've, I've been hearing and just practically rocking out to her anti-domestic violence anthem as, as, at least at the time perceiving it. What Kind of Man. And she might as well just sing the title track and all I need. But, um... Oh man. Um can't even think of be quite cool maybe if Madonna performed on SNL. She hasn't been the, she hasn't been there in a so I mean, okay, I know she did a very good talk show skit. Mm -hmm. But um The uh, time she was ever a musical guest was when Harvey Keitel hosted in January '93. So, why not? Um, trying to think who else should could host. I think mean, you know, I put some names out there. Hey, I do know, of course, that Stephen Amell, Mr. Garo, uh, A.K.A. Oliver Queen on CW, he told Seth Meyers that he really wants to host. It's one of his dream jobs. I say, why not? Mm. Yeah, let's see. I think all four. Well, let's see. Tactic, yeah. Four. Scar. Yeah, Chris Hemsworth is hosting Saturday. Scarlett Johansson has already hosted at least twice. Actually, three times. I remember Arcade Fire, um, Bjork, and Death Cat for Cutie were the musical guests when she hosted. And of course, Jeremy Renner, Hawkeye has, you know, okay, Black, Black Widow, Thor, Hawkeye, JPK, Jeremy Renner, hosted in Room 5, made their, I think, fourth or, yeah, fourth, fifth appearance. Yeah. Well, no, that was their, th was that their third, because I remember their first was Christina Aguilera, then Zach Braff, Jer yeah, Jeremy Renner, oh yeah, Charlie Day, then Jeremy Renner, then, um, last year, um, Sarah Silverman said it's five, but, um, yeah, what I'm pretty sure trying to say is that pretty much Oh wait a minute, Chris Evans, Captain America has not hosted yet. Better hop on it soon. I mean I don't know I don't I'm not even sure when the next Captain America movie opens. But um <laughs> be funny. I have a funny feeling that we'll see the other Thor I'm sorry, that we'll see the other Avengers characters all or the remaining ones that haven't hosted compete to be next. Maybe that'll be their monologue skit for Mr. Hemsworth. Or they'll make, or better yet, they'll make fun of his brothers Chris, I'm sorry, that they'll make fun of his brothers Liam and the third one, who's to me is probably is jeez I'm trying to think of a trio of acting, <laughs> oh my god Let's just put it this way, okay, Joey Lawrence right now is the is probably akin to Chris Hemsworth. Li 
but between Andy and Matthew Lawrence, it's a bit of a toss-up. I'm not even sure what they've been, what either of those Lawrence brothers, have, those other two Lawrence brothers, have been doing. Because I know there's a third Hemsworth brother, but um, and I'm blanking on what his name is. Who's, I mean, I, as I know, they've all been at, been acting very, pretty successfully in Australia. But it's their third one who's the third one that's just been unfortunately overlooked and practically anonymous. But um. Uh, I don't know. Um. Yeah, so I guess my if I had to make six picks. Yeah, Shailene Woodley, Stephen Colbert, Fred Armisen, Paul Rudd. Why not? Yeah, why not Viola Davis, Terrence Howard? I mean, Empire's been on the rise. And, um. I only, want, can only wonder if yeah, Viola has enough time in between murder and Suicide Squad. But Maybe it might be wrong. Um. <coughs> and then the musical guest, yeah. Madonna, uh, yeah. Madonna, Kelly Clarkson. Um. Salita Kinney, Florence and the Machine. That's all I should probably share for this one. And, and I shouldn't keep making all these videos just over 15 minutes. But, you know, those are my not so much predictions, but stuff I want to put out there. I mean, if Betty White can finally get around to hosting SNL, all well, because of a big fan of hers started a campaign on Facebook and really got the ball rolling, I mean, it may be once in a life time option, but hey, I put them out, out there, okay, I mean, I'll, I'll probably run down the list again, alright, fine, um, um, Shailene Woodley, um, yeah, Sh Shailene Woodley, Stephen Colbert, Fred Armisen, Paul Rudd, Viola Davis, Robbie Amell, I'm sorry, Stephen Amell, sorry, and then, um, Sorry, I can't hmm. I don't know, maybe almost McCarthy's gonna host again. I know she has Spy opening in May. But I don't know, I'm getting so tired I gotta go to bed. But I think I've said enough names for I'm ready to really cross her fingers and see how successful I am at my 2015 predictions so far in 2016.